Smoke rising from buildings and lingering flames. It's been one year since one of Tappahannock's darkest days. 100 firefighters battling a fire which ripped through a historic district, destroying several businesses. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. The firefighters were able to put out those flames, but the effects are still smoldering one year later. 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler joining us from where this all unfolded in Tappahannock. She shows us how the community is reflecting tonight. This space behind me where these businesses once stood serves as a painful reminder of what happened one year ago, but it's becoming a beacon of light as small gardens of flowers stand in their place and as business owners start over in their new homes. George Jennings new art studio stands right across the street from where his former space once thrived. It's a tough thing to watch, to say the very least. It's a day that Jennings will never forget. July 15th, 2022, with flames shooting from these buildings in downtown Tappahannock. On Prince Street, several business owners were inside when the flames ignited. Martin Cell Furniture Store, a real estate agency, a restaurant, and hair salon were direct hits. An entire block damaged from the fire, including some vehicles. We just watched it get hotter and hotter closer and closer. It was just a perfect storm of a disaster. More than 100 firefighters from multiple agencies showed up to battle the flames, drawing water from the nearby river. The smoke and flames wiping out nearly 200 of Jennings paintings and architectural designs. So it was like somebody took an eraser and just erased about 60 years of my life. Though the rubble has long been cleaned up, the space is still an empty lot with some fencing and small flower gardens. A few businesses have picked up and moved to other locations. The town leaders and the Main Street Association gave grants to people and businesses directly impacted by the fire. That was a real shocker for me. Allowing Jennings to move into this new art studio. I mean, everybody shipped in. It, it really, in that respect, was beautiful. It's a tough way to have to find out what's beautiful, but it, it really was, you know, fantastic. A year later, and fire officials have not confirmed a cause for the fire. We followed up with town leaders about if and when something else will call this place home. In Tappahannock, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.